Hi there. Today I'm going to make a little video showing you how to make some waterproof fire starters uh, for around six cents each. Uh, what I start with here are some cotton rounds. Uh, they're just 100% cotton. Uh, we got them from the dollar store. Uh, they're around $1.50 a pack and there's 80 of them in this pack. Second thing I have here uh, is some paraffin wax. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart for about uh, $3.50 for four pieces. The uh, box comes with four pieces in it. So basically what we have is um, $1.50 for 80 cotton rounds and uh, $3.50 for four blocks of paraffin wax. And once you get your uh, technique down, uh, you should that should be more than enough wax to do all 80 fire starters. So what I have here are just some pie tins I picked up at the Dollar Tree uh, for something else, but they work out great here. I have two of them stacked on top of each other uh, just to keep the heat from melting this from uh, you know damaging my board. Uh, you could do this inside on the stove, you know, if your wife's not home or you think you can get away with it. A uh, double boiler will work really well for melting the paraffin wax. Me, uh, I've got my propane torch from the garage, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to melt the wax. Now I also have a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, you could use your fingers if you want, but you're going to be dipping these cotton rounds in the wax, and when you do that, the wax is going to stick to your fingers. So I found it works really nice to uh, just get these little needle nose pliers. So I've melted that wax down a little bit. And what I'm going to do uh, is take one of these cotton rounds and I'm just going to dip it in it on one side and the other. I'll hold it up a little bit, let it drip off, and then I'm going to lay it down on a, this is just a drying rack. I also picked that up at the dollar store for a buck. Um, you don't want to dip it in the wax for too long. You just kind of want to coat the top and the bottom and you want to let the excess come off. And you also don't want to hold that onto them too long or you'll see that they'll start to stick uh, to the needle nose pliers. And that's if you use your fingers, it's going to stick to your fingers too. And it's okay if you don't get it completely covered. Uh, what we'll do is after we let it sit on here and dry for a minute, we can heat this back up. We can do another dip on it if we didn't get it coated well. And what I like to do is I like to let it sit on this for a little while and let it dry. And then I pick it up and I flip it over. If you don't let it sit long enough uh, it's going to stick to the rack whenever you try to pull it up but if you let it set up a little bit uh, they'll pull up pretty easily off of that. Uh, so what I do is I let it sit on there uh, and let it dry and then once it starts to cool off what you can do is lay it down and pat it down flat to keep it flat for what your storage and you can see on my hands uh, what happens if you touch that before it's completely dry. Uh, it's just wax and cotton you can just brush it off your hands. Um, you have to remember that these are made out of wax, so if you leave them in the hot car or out in the hot sun, they are going to get soft and they're as possible to melt and to stick to other things that are in your pack. So you might want to keep them separate. Now, I'm going to set these aside. And if you notice I had this white container sitting here, and what I have was I had one that I previously made soaking in this water the whole time while I've been talking doing this video. Now what I'm going to show you, I'm just going to wipe it off, just get some of that water off the outside, because what we need to do is break this open. And when I break it open, I don't want to get the cotton wet on the inside. So I'm just going to break it. Remember, it's just the paraffin wax. And one of the reasons we don't let, want to let it completely soak up is because then when we break it open, there won't really be any dry cotton on the inside. It'll just be paraffin wax. Now hopefully you can see uh, I got a lot of surface area there on this, uh, but if not, what I can do is just kind of split it apart also. While I'm out there, you know, I have my needle nose here, I can split it apart. Um, come out in the woods, I can take my knife, just come right down the center of that, kind of cut it, and just spread it open a little bit. So that's really what we want. We want that dry cotton that was on the inside, and we want to get some nice surface area. Now you will, uh, You'd be able to light this with a cigarette lighter uh, pretty easily, just put a flame to it and that cotton will catch. Uh, but it'll also work really well with the ferro rod, which is what I'm going to do with it today. You see, this one shot there, 
uh, I ignited that dry cotton and with that paraffin wax on there, uh, this thing will burn for a pretty good amount of time, uh, definitely enough to get your smalls uh, and your uh, kindling ignited. So there you go. Like I said, um, they were about it ends up coming out to about six cents each. You just get 80 of these cotton rounds uh, and you get four blocks of the paraffin wax in there. It's more than enough to cover all 80 of these. Okay, have a good day. Be safe with your fires.